super excited for this video because we are going to be talking about fragrances and if they're really bad for your hair and if you should avoid them in natural hair care products. So stay tuned. Okay, so the big hoopla is that there is a chemical compound called phthalates, which actually is an ester, and people are really concerned about this ingredient being inside of hair care formulations. Now, what exactly are phthalates? Phthalates are used mainly in the plastic industry, and basically they help plastics to be more flexible. So think of your shower cap that you use, or your toothbrush, or the plastic cup that's in your cabinet right now. Things like that, you know? And the issue is that people say that, oh, it causes reproduction issues it caused issues with infants things of that nature so anytime I do these videos I want you guys to know when it comes down to toxicology how toxic a chemical is it depends on multiple things but in this video we are going to talk about exposure okay exposure so when it comes to all the things that people are talking about all the bad things when it comes to fragrances and phthalates and whatnot but it's typically through ingestion and that is the quickest and most direct way to be infected by a chemical compound when it comes to infants unfortunately some IV tubes and even hospital equipment that are made out of plastic will have phthalates in it and unfortunately can harm infants now in this video we are discussing shampoos conditioners moisturizers natural hair care products and when it comes to phthalates there is a family of phthalates there's different ones so think of it as um, an analogy I, I just read online is snakes there's different types of snakes some are poisonous and deadly and then there's some that are just not like little gardener snakes now when it comes to phthalates in hair care products there is one called diethyl phthalate that is the one that is used in fragrances now diethyl phthalate is used as a solvent to dissolve fragrances so it creates a fragrance that we use in a hair care formulation now think of it as this when you are making your apple cider vinegar rinse now you have your measuring cup or whatever you put it in you got water as your solvent and then you dissolve the ACV mix it up put it in your hair that's the same thing with fragrances DEP is the solvent the water and you have different fragrances to make the overall fragrance solution now fragrances can be different type of chemical compounds typically terpenoids terpenoids are for example lemony that gives you like a citrusy scent or things like geranium that gives you like a rose or floral scent all of these little terpenoids can be dissolved into DEP to create a fragrance solution. Another cool thing about DEP is that it actually helps to bring the fragrance out even more. When it comes to our hair, hair products and DEP and if it's harmful and all that jazz. Now, we're not eating or ingesting our shampoo or our conditioner, right? It's mainly on our hair. And if it does go on the scalp from a shampoo, the scalp is a thick layer of skin. Okay, you have the epidermis, you got the dermis and all that fun stuff. It takes a lot for certain things to actually get deep into the skin down to the blood vessels where they actually affect our system. So it takes a lot for it to take place. Now let's just say by some chance that DEP does penetrate into the scalp, you know, into our blood vessels. If it does get into our body and turns into urine, it comes out into the toilet, out of our system. Okay. Now also I will say this, in formulations, when it comes to fragrances as a whole, we typically use it at very, very small amounts. Honestly, when I'm talking to people who want to start hair care lines, I always tell them fragrances, less than 1%. You don't need that much. So the idea of you being affected from your shampoo or your conditioner or your moisturizer with DEP is extremely, extremely low. To be honest with you, I'll be more concerned about the food that you are consuming, the processed food, the genetically modified food, things of that nature that has a direct effect of diseases and things that can be caused by chemicals you know now let's say you're thinking okay Tanya great video but I'm still not convinced and that's okay definitely you know you can look for fragrance free options however then that means you need to stop using your shower cap you might need to stop using your toothbrush and you also might need to stop buying perfume and fragrances to smell good you know because all that is in there just saying all right, so I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I do have a question for you. My next video, I need your opinion. Um, I'm thinking about doing the curly girl method, like my opinion of the curly girl method, because I have some issues with it. On the flip side, I want to talk about butters too. So what do you want to know more about? Let me know below. I do talk about this in the Curly Girl's Guide to Hair Care Ingredients, so if you have not got your copy yet, 
definitely do so. I'll put the link below. And if you're interested in signing up for a consultation with me one on one, you can do that as well in the link below. Make sure that your notifications are on to stay in the loop and make sure you are subscribed. And I will definitely talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye. <laughs>